Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm back again and I had some time right now so I decided I would shoot a quick video showing you guys what I'm bringing in my travel wallet. Now before I start, I know it's not just strictly what's in my travel wallet, it's more so all the documents and all the different things I'm bringing, so if I had a man purse, it would probably be what is in my travel purse. So without further ado, let's get into it. Obviously the first and most important travel document that you're going to need to take with you, your passport. I mean, that's just a given. I mean, there's not too much to really say about this. You're going to need this to get in and out of the country, in and out of other countries that you want to go to. Um, yeah, not much to say about that. But to go along with that, you want to make copies of like your passport information. I made about like five copies. Uh, you never know if you lose your passport or if someone steals your passport. You need to have some sort of documentation proving that you are who you say you are so that you can get back into the country. But who knows, maybe if Trump becomes president, it won't even matter and they won't even let me back in the country. Alright, next thing is this, the international driving permit. So this thing I actually picked up uh, from AAA. Uh, the whole process to get one of these things is super easy. Honestly, what you need to do is you just have to go on the AAA website, print out the document that you need to fill out, fill out the form and bring that in. Uh, one tip I would give you is if you have any of those small passport photos just lying around, I suggest you just bring one in with you because they'll charge you $12 to take your picture. The driver's permit itself is actually $15, so I actually paid $28 total uh, because I needed to get my picture taken there, so just a little tip. Moving on, the next thing I'm bringing is my Eurail passes. So like I said in the last video, I picked up two separate Euro passes. Uh, I'm going to need those when I'm traveling around. I know you need to activate these at a train station in Europe, so you want to do that probably your first trip that you take. Um, I don't really know too much about these Euro passes yet. I'm not going to like pretend like I know what the hell I'm talking about. So uh, hopefully I'll end up doing like a separate video on my Eurail experience and also maybe some tips I can give you about using the Eurail as I'm going along. Now moving on to the actual wallet. So before I start, I actually just recently purchased this current wallet that you're staring at right now. Um, I was using one of those like small little card holders with the money clip on the back. But what I realized when you're going traveling is you're gonna need a lot of card slots, you're gonna need a lot of room for like extra money and things like that that you're gonna be carrying around with you. So I decided to upgrade to a wallet. So what's good about this wallet is actually it offers the RFID protection. This gives you peace of mind because when you're just like walking around you don't want someone swiping your credit card information from you so this wallet is actually good for that. It'll keep you safe. Speaking of credit card information, this Chase Sapphire Preferred card and my other credit card, American Express Gold Card. You're probably wondering why the hell do you have two credit cards? And that's a great question. So the reason I actually have two credit cards is I had the Chase Sapphire Preferred Card for like the longest time but when I started working I was living at home and my two major expenses were for groceries and for gas and the Amex card actually gave me double points on both groceries and gas so I figured it'd be it's my best bet to try to like accumulate more points but other than that there's no I don't really have like a definitive reason for picking up the other one you wanna look for a card that has uh, no foreign transaction fees actually both the cards I have don't charge foreign transaction fees so Credit cards are actually really good in the currency exchange rates. They offer you, I think, the most fair currency uh, exchange rates that you can get as opposed to just like trying to pull out uh, money or exchange currency at the airport or things like that. You, you want to try to avoid that stuff at all costs. So the credit cards are great. And plus it's also just like simple, fast and easy. You just swipe your card and you go. So I highly recommend you pick up a credit card, especially if you're like looking to travel a lot more. Next thing in my wallet is my student ID. So obviously, I'm not a student anymore, <laughs> um, but for some reason I just I held onto this card. 
that I was just chilling on my desk for the past two years. It's expired, but everything I've read is like you can get so many student discounts while you're traveling as long as you have some form of identification like that. So I'm just going to see if that works out for me and I'll let you guys know as I go then, I guess. Obviously my driver's license because that's like the main form of identification when you're traveling or just living. Finally, the last thing that's in my wallet are my two debit cards. Again, why do you have two debit cards? Because I like things in twos, apparently. So the thing about Chase is they, j they just suck with ATMs. Like, they charge you a fee to use a, a non-Chase ATM, and then you're also get getting that fee for using a public ATM. So every time you pull out money, it's at least like $5.00. And I can only assume that's like, it gets exponentially worse if you're trying to do this at overseas ATMs. Um, so what I did was, you saw that second debit card, which is the Charles Schwab debit card. So I did a little research and what everyone seems to be going for is that Charles Schwab card. Uh, I think it's like the high investors yield uh, savings account or something like that. I don't know. But it's like linked to like a stock thing that you don't have to use. They just give you a debit card. But the thing about this debit card that like sets it apart from other ones is you get reimbursed all the ATM fees you get charged uh, every month. It's just like common sense, like the little things, saving like $5 here, $10 here, that's all going to add up. If you save $15, it's like an extra night at a another hostel. That's going to wrap up this quick video. Like I said, I hope it was helpful. I just wanted to show you guys what I'm bringing, like documents and then what's in my wallet and like things like that. That might help you guys out if you're planning a trip like I am. If you like and subscribe if you like this stuff and hopefully more content, more interesting content is on the way. Just stay patient. Once I start traveling, I feel like I'm going to be more inclined to like vlog a little more and definitely have like more interesting content once I actually start traveling. But Again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We gotta fucking go. <laughs>